All right, let's go ahead and get this um, showcase started. Welcome everybody to the Shell Storage Showcase. So the sh Shell Storage is going to be a system dedicated to making um, like a more realistic prop storage system for players to interact with items directly. So um, storages will be set like based off job. You can set uh, separate like lock picking difficulties and a bunch of options with the blips and markers. So like right now we've got BCSO up here. I've got their blip set so that everyone can see it. <clears throat> and that's just so I know where I need to teleport later to show you the lockpick thing. But as you can see, um, this blip is set up to come up on my mini map. And it's for the real estate. This is the bottom of Maze Bank. You could very easily remove this one. But um, when players walk up, um, you can set if they'll see the marker, if they'll see the text, what the text says. Um, marker size is based off the side, like the interact size. So like if they're in the marker, they'll be able to interact with it. And I guess because I have this job, I can walk right in. There's nothing in there yet. So you will store items from your regular menu here. Uh, there's code to set it up so that if they select just one item, or if they select just one as the amount, it'll ask if they want to store all of that item so that they don't have to try and scroll all the way through if they want to store an entire their entire stack of something. So I'm going to store all my favorite chips and all my chip bags. And then we'll, uh, we'll head in here. And because the empty chip bags don't have a prop, they are just the regular, you know, little money bag prop. Chips have a prop, so they'll spawn as the custom prop. Um, water bottles have a prop already, and uh, a few other things do as well. But cash, um, which, oh, I need to, I guess I need to add it for black money as well. But um, when you store cash, it will store in, 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 different um, like it'll, the props are like a, a suitcase and then this ha the half stack uh, this full pallet and then it goes up to a safe and some stuff so I'll have to add that for black money still but um, money has its own uh, its own little prop table to go through different props as it, you put more in there but once a prop is, once, a, once an item is stored, um, players will interact with it. So the main menu out there is only for adding a new prop because to remove or add more of a prop already here, which I guess someone could add another stack of favorite chips from that main menu. But currently, um, you would use stand at the prop and you see the options there you can take from or add to the storage and I don't have any more to put in so I can't add to it but I can definitely take from it and the same thing you can hit you can take all with one or you can take one I'm gonna take just one and now I can add to the storage so we'll add and then um, so that is that is if you like own the storage and are allowed to use it. And then if you are not, we will markers are set up the same way blips are. You can set it up so everyone can see it. I just wanted to just display, you know, as much as I could about the script. So I set the blip to go for everyone so I can make it here and so you can see that the everyone setting works. I did not set the marker for everyone. It's only for if you have the job, which I don't even have a ball, uh, BCSO job, so I can't, like, make myself that job. Anyway, if I walk over to where the blip is, I can try to interact with it. 
says I cannot enter this location, and that's just because I don't have the items that I need. So we will give item six. I don't have lockpicks or pin holders as items. Right, that was a problem. So I'm gonna change these items real fast, just so you can see. Um, so there are there are um, storage specific theft options. Each each storage can be you you said if it can be robbed from or not, um, and a couple other things like the required card and difficulty. But um, there are global theft options. Um, like the animation used and like what people are allowed to do inside of a uh, broken into storage as well as if players will lose their items when they uh, fail breaking in so I should have no I don't but I can definitely give myself the six or the water bottles I need. So I made it water, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that it'll take my items if I fail, which I have to hit the right ones before the rotations go through. Oh, I should have made this easier so you can see. Twenty out of thirty-five. I don't want to try to do. Tw I'll try to do twenty. I'll actually try to do it once. So. Well, yeah, all right, failed to break the lock, took my water bottle. Well, I still have 10 bottles, so we'll try again. Oh, no, that's a mistake. Now I won't, I won't fail. Look, 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 I broke in. When it's two, it's easy. So um, that just shows adjustable. And this probably wasn't the one I should have done it to because, yeah, actually, there's nothing even here. So... We will, we will, you know, get out of here, I guess. Redo this and set this to what we were just at. Okay, so I'm going to restart one more time. Now that we are here, it should be water. It's only one now, but uh, anyway. No marker, no blip, because it's not set up for me, but. Oh no, where did I put this? Shoot, it's. Um, is it this one? Dang it. There we go, right there. Alright. Uh, F, F. Nice. Okay, so now that I'm in, this one has stuff. So I could take from it. This <laughs> was my test. There's cash. Yeah, see? So here's cash. Look. I can take from it. And it's set up um, so that you can choose if the um, job gets notified or not. But there's like the bottle prop, the guns have their uh, drawables used, and uh, yeah, I have it. I have it default so that you can only add to stuff that's already here, which I don't have any of this stuff, so I can't add it. Oh wait, I can add bottled water. Yeah, I'll add it all. So. Uh, yeah, but there's options so they could add their like own new stuff from here if they wanted to. So you can set it up like for gangs that players can, um, I guess, what is it? They could frame another gang by like putting putting drugs in their storage or something. Anyway, so um, that is the gist of shell storage. 
allow allow jobs to actually allow players to actually interact with the storage systems that they're using for the script or for items and things thank you guys so much for watching the video and uh, I'm not sure when we'll release on the storm but I appreciate any support given have a good rest of your day I'm so bad at Okay, whoops, a little hiccup there. Anyway, um, so... Oh. Boop, 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 boop. So, um... Oh, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. I did up too many times. We'll <sighs> give myself water and we'll try this again. All right. It's way easier with the controller. No cap. No, no, not that. Not that. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this. I made this and I'm bad at it. You know what? Idea, idea, idea. <laughs> Should be able to just pop you inside you. And we will try this one more time with the controller. This is still hard. I failed. Oh my. Alright, I can't. I'm sorry. We're just gonna. I gotta. We'll make that like two. And now I can't fail, right?